Warning. Welcome to another episode of Clueless Construction Channel. I mean, uh, Slick Works YouTube channel. Still working on the paint booth, making lots of progress. We got you guys a fun-filled episode for the whole family. So I hope you like it. Let's get to work. Okay, so I've got a game plan for the light fixtures here. So I was trying to figure out how to mount my glass. So I actually got these, they're baseboards. Uh, really good deal on them. If you buy packs of 10, they actually work out to like 53 cents each, which is amazing. Anyways, so this is what I've uh, figured out here. So I'm gonna make these and then that light lighter line, that's uh, the glass, that's the size of the glass. So I gotta make 20 of those, except for these ones are gonna be kind of wonky in the middle, as well as the ones that have a outlet right next to it. I'll have to cut a little notch out. So I gotta make 20 of these. I'm gonna start by making one, stapling it together, holding it up, just making sure that I'll be able to get the lamps in and out and you know pass the little lip there. And if I can, then I'm gonna keep motoring along. Alright, so I got the first one mocked up. So I've drawn pencil lines around all the edges. So I have my measurements to measure off for every single one of them. Uh, so I gotta pull this thing back down and run a sander around the outside of where every lamp is so that there's no mud getting in the way of a, a nice smooth seam. And then I gotta start building these things. Yay. What do you need? I smell like screwdrivers. For the bubble machine? But, but Mama got one from her special hammer. Oh, what kind of screwdriver? I smell like... <laughs> okay, back again, once again, for another day. I've got my plan here for uh, these frames, but I don't really want to cut out every single 45 with the skill saw here. So I'm trying to track down a miter saw. But in the meantime, I have a whole lot of sanding out to do. So I'm gonna try to sand all the drywall mud. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna get done. I actually think the smart thing to do would be to start on the ceiling. I don't wanna start down here and then get burnt out by the time I've been, yeah, you know what I'm saying. All right, I gotta get to work. On second thought, I've got all this stuff set up to make these frames here, so I'm not gonna start on the ceiling. I'm gonna start on those two doors, and then I'm gonna do every single light fixture all around the outside. Yeah, so my plan was to start on the ceiling, work my way down. Um, I got all the sanding done on all the filler, except the ceiling. Anyways, 
But this is why I did have an actual reason to. Uh, got all my measurements there from the first one. So now every single light fixture, top and bottom is all fully sanded and fully marked off to build those frames. But I did the first one with the skill saw and it doesn't quite line up perfectly. And there's some weird wonky gaps that I don't like because it'd be nice if I could get away with not putting any filler in the edges of those like that. Ugh, that one's gonna get filled up. So I'm gonna go out and buy a miter saw and yeah, progress will continue. Well, I came down to the shop after dinner last night and I just couldn't help myself. I had to install one of the frames. And that looks pretty darn good. Yeah. Yeah, you see some of the corners overhung a little bit. Just a quick little buzz with the sander. That'll, that'll be fine. Yes, it's nice and flush against the wall. It's gonna look good. Just gonna fill these up and uh, yeah, once that's all in paint, man, it's gonna look sweet. Well, I got another 19 to make, so time to get going on this. Okay, back in the booth again, another day. Yesterday, got these all sanded, nice and flat. Feel great, those are ready for filler. Uh, all the fixtures on the walls, as well as the 45s, are finished up and ready to be filled. Um, I don't have enough wood to do those. Well, I do, I do have enough trim, but it's all these like little pieces, so I'd have to kinda, you know, stick it to figure it out, and I, I'd really rather just buy another pack, cause I'm gonna need another pack anyways by the time I get to doing the windows over there. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this place because I hate working in a dirty shop. Once this place is all cleaned out, I'm gonna start the filler work on the lamps and continue from there. So the goal for right now is to get all the mud on all the trim on all of these lamps. And then once the mud is on and sanded and everything, I'm gonna paint them. And then I'd like to put the glass in and seal it. But before I do that, I'm gonna Windex all these uh, reflectors here cause they're all nasty. As well as uh, clean out the, the bottoms. There's a few of them that even have like some dirt in them and stuff. So just make them look nice, seal all these lamps off. And then uh, yeah, so I'll be able to repaint afterwards and then it'll keep the dust out of the fixtures too and if I do get any paint on the glass um, that's fine it'll just peel right off or just scrape it off with a razor blade that's why we use glass Well, all the screw holes in every corner is filled up now, and in the name of progress, I've decided I'm gonna try and piece something together to make that work. I look at a little bit of scrap right there. I got some, uh, whoa, I got some bad cuts right there, and I have this whole stack here that's pretty much garbage. 
Uh, might be a bad idea, but I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can build some uh, frames for my lights out of this junk. So let's see how this goes. Gonna get a new sheet of plywood up on here, a fresh canvas, see if I can design something and put something together. Here we go. Well, I've got my measurements. Uh, I gotta trim it that much off the east wall, that much off the west wall, which is just for that little strip right there. Uh, I'm not gonna use this piece, and I don't really feel like spending ages cutting <laughs> cutting wood just so it can, yeah, no. Waste of time, too many staples, not worth it. Going to get some more. somewhere yeah first coat just soaks right into the trim but second coat sits beautifully on top brighten brighten that up a little bit Ooh. oh yeah It is now nighttime and still making progress on the paint job. I made the big mistake of leaving the bay doors open. So all the light was just gleaming outside and then all the bugs decided to come in. So it was like a giant fly trap. So there's bugs all in my white paint and still more waiting. Oh, look out buddy, your time will come soon. Okay, well I've been at this for 14 hours today. It is now check the clock, 1225 uh, at night. And I'm about to bust out this roller because this is taking three coats to cover and I did not feel like painting this whole booth three times over, but that's just the way it's gonna be. Anyways, I'm gonna work some magic with the roller and then call it a night once I've covered what I end up covering. I don't know, we'll see, here we go.
Well, here we are now. We have some booth filters pushed into the holes. Uh, there's nothing holding them in except the own, their own uh, metal wire that runs around the outside. So those are going to be super easy to get done. But these booth filters are in because if you come with me right over here, come on in everybody. Oh yes. The booth is basically done. I have to run the airlines coming through and I need a thermometer in here, but oh man, does this look good. Got all my filters in their homes. All the edges are finished and look beautiful. Yeah, all the latches, handles are back in, as well as on the exhaust fan. Yeah, so I've been thinking, um, I think the exhaust filter is probably gonna clog up pretty quick. So I might end up building exactly that on that wall. Um, I, that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing actually, but I mean, who knows until I start painting in here. It is quite a large space, so we'll see. But man, does this look good. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this episode. Thanks for joining me guys. Uh, in the next episode, I'm gonna be installing all the glass and all the light fixtures. And I'm gonna start moving everything from the north side of the shop all the way over here into the booth. Uh, that includes the Astra. Uh, I got like three or four engines over there I'm gonna move in here, a motorcycle and stuff. So once all that stuff's over here, then I'm gonna start on the north side of the shop. So if you're just here for the spray booth build, thank you for watching. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, stay tuned, because I'm gonna be running all the airlines and everything like that. So that's gonna be, of course, a part of this video series as well. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Over 90%, I think it's like 98% of my views are from non-subscribers. So if you guys would take two seconds and hit that subscribe button, that would be a huge help. Share it with your friends, thumbs up, like, comment. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.